What's up, Aries? How is everybody doing? Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, my name is Sam. And welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be for my Aries. Um, it's going to be timeless. So when you feel drawn to the title and you feel like it's resonating, then that's when it's meant for you to hear. Never force anything to fit. But you know to always watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity and similarity. Guys, I'm giving away two free personal readings this month. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. And it does it is different when I give away each and every month. And then leave a shamrock emoji in the comment section. At the end of each and every month, I randomly choose those people to receive the um, giveaway and then I'll remind everyone to check their notifications because like I said, two people will be hearing from me and then I'll announce April's giveaway. All right, let's get into it. We have trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in your divine spirit guides. Trust in the universe. They have your back. They are listening. Trust in what you want. There is something better. And look, this, this angel wants to hand you all of this abundance and prosperity. So if there's something that's making you feel doubtful or that you were rejected, um, maybe even ghosted, it was to put you down another path. And spirit wants you to have faith in exactly the path, on exactly the path that you're on in exactly the moment that you are. You're exactly where you need to be. Trust in that everything is going to fall into place. And peaceful resolution. Awesome. All right. For my Aries. All right, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And love yourself first. I was just going to say, right before I even pick this up, when you completely find happiness in who you are and where you're at in your life, even love your, what you consider a flaw or a fault, when you love yourself inside and out, and this was a very hard lesson for me to learn, Aries, that's how much more attractive you become for everybody else because you're loving you. You're taking care of you. You've got this glow about you that exceeds just superficial. It's from the inside out. And you are attracting this breakthrough, this peaceful resolution. All right, let's see what else we can get. I'm going to pull from many decks, so do stick around to the end. Sorry, guys. For those of you that have earbuds in, I'm sorry if that was loud. All right, Spirit from my Aries. Most important message. Who needs to hear it the most? Three of Cups. Getting ready to celebrate. Getting ready for an adventure. Nine of Pentacles, reaping the rewards of your hard labor. Yeah, I feel like that there was an ending here. Somebody walked away with the Eight of Cups. But look at that. There is the transformation. There is that moving forward and evolving. Putting yourself around your friends and your family, you know, if the people that get you offer you the support and the truth that you need to hear from a loving heart. It's, you really have planted the seeds and nurtured. Yeah, there's something you're evolving from, something that had you feeling stuck for some time. All right, so we have fire energy here. So obviously fellow Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have some water, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then we have some Earth. So do take what resonates with your chart. But you're evolving and growing from something. Something that was very hard. I feel like the moment that you lost this person, or that there was an ending with this person, it's when the best version of yourself started to grow and form. And it's possible it could have been the worst ending for you. But it, it's aligning you with the best version of yourself and who you truly are. I really feel a lot of growth and a learning process through you because of this ending. Spirit saying exactly what has happened in your love life. Trust for a reason. Even the hardest of times. Trust that it was placed on your path. Because it's guiding you towards something so amazing. So much better for you. Alright Spirit. Please clarify the Three of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Mother of Wands in reverse. And Daughter of Wands. Yeah, I feel that you had a very intense chemistry with someone that was not aligning to the best versions of himself. They lacked, um, they lacked self-love for themselves. They lacked what path they were on. It's like they, they just feel like they missed out on many opportunities within themselves and they were showing up in an energy of lack. All right, Spirit, why the Eight of Cups and the Six of Wands? Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you dated or met through work. Or by doing business with them. For some of you, through this ending, you spent a lot of time within work. Just focused on that, trying to take your focus away from the heartbreak. Why the Six of Wands and the Eight of Swords spirit? There is an offer coming in. Seriously, the message here, Aries, is to get ready to reap the rewards of all of your hard labor. The Son of Swords, the Father of Cups. I also feel for some of you that you were dealing with somebody that had an extra party in their life. Maybe a wife or a husband, they were leaving, maybe their marriage in separation. Um, they could have had children, you could have had children, but I am definitely picking up on an extra energy. You walked away from this. You had to walk away. It, there, This was starting to bring you down. When the two of you had time together, it was amazing. But you loved yourself, Aries, and you walked away from this. There was negative energy that existed here. And I do feel that there is someone moving forward towards you that realizes that you were the one that got away. Let's see. Spirit, please give me additional clarity for Aries and the message coming through. The person coming through. The Ten of Wands, yeah, something started to feel like a burden, but you are healing from it. And like I said, with the Three of Swords in reverse, you are moving past that. I am definitely picking up on an extra party, so whether it been a third party or a love triangle. There is love coming towards you, and it is grounded. It has long term attached to this. Yeah, you are flipping the chapter. Starting a brand new chapter. The Four of Cups. Spirit, why is the Four of Cups here twice? The Seven of Wands in reverse. 
the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Someone is moving towards you. They're lowering their guard. They have strong love for you. They've manifested this very moment of being with you, of telling you how they feel. This person was distracted. I really feel that they were closing a cycle within their own life. And they just didn't have um, the time to give to this connection. You did right by walking away from this Aries. You had to set yourself free from feeling weighed down by their burdens. It was starting to deplete your energy. So you did right. You trusted in the connection. That's why this peaceful resolution is happening. They've worked through their drama. They've worked through their chaos and their turmoil. In that time that you felt rejected, it was spirit redirecting you. And I feel you are such a completely different person. Had From the moment you separated from them, from the moment you knew you had to walk away because they needed to figure out their own stuff. From that moment till now, you have evolved to the best version of yourself. So much stronger, so much more liberated. All right, let's see. Spirit, what is this person hiding from Aries? Right. Childhood wounding is influencing my actions. So this person had, like I said, inner turmoil. A lack of confidence. Unhealthy attachment. I'm done playing games. I feel I can be my true self around you. And I feel lost without you. This is a destined connection. I am definitely picking up either on a soulmate or a twin flame and evolving from this. This person is definitely freeing themselves up and making a bold decision to move forward towards you. So when this person arrives on your path, you can trust what they're saying. It may have taken some time to get to you. I'm talking months, possibly a year or more. But they are, you will hear from them. Yeah, you felt stabbed in the back. And I really feel you swore this off. You had to make start making healthy choices for you. There is wedding ring. So I do see long-term commitment that they're going to offer you. But I also feel either a long-term commitment that they walked away from and needed to heal from or a marriage. Take it how it resonates. Both of you may have had someone, you know, and needed to figure things out. You knew this intention. You knew this connection was intense. But you needed the time apart to figure that out. And there is going to be a peaceful resolution. But Spirit is saying continue to love yourself. That's what's drawing this person back in. And for those of you that say, I would never take back someone that made me part of a third party. Nothing, not everything is black and white. There are so many different situations, scenarios, journeys. And each and every journey in this lifetime for each one of us is completely, as similar as they may be, they're completely different. Totally. And the way one reacts is going to be different from the way another reacts or responds. That's what makes it different and that's what makes the world intriguing and always changing. So nothing is black and white. You can't pass judgment on those people who want to welcome back somebody from the past. People come broken. People come shattered at times. But it doesn't change how much you how much your feelings are for them it doesn't change that so and also i want to say never say never there may be one moment that you're swearing off somebody and i totally get it i totally get it if they hurt you depleted your energy i get it and then you turn the corner at target or the supermarket or run out of gas 
somewhere where you didn't expect to run out of gas and you stop at a gas station was completely totally out of your area of where you should be traveling and you're right there at that moment staring that person in the face it happens all right i don't know why i just said that but i felt like somebody needed to hear it aries let's get scrabble tiles We have N T A R W J D. All right, not too many, but do watch your rising moon and Venus placement. Um, leave that shamrock emoji down below. Anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, click on the link. In the description box, Lotus444 is my Etsy shop's name. There is a sale going on right now, so you can take advantage of that. Love and light, Aries.